Hello, it's me again. It's been a while. Sorry I haven't been making any videos, but I've been distracted, busy, lazy, all three. But today I'm going to be doing a video of Space Station 13. It's pretty popular lately, and it's basically you are a crew member on a space station, and a bunch of people are antagonists. This round, I am the AI. I am the artificial intelligence, which is actually controlled by a player, so... But AI is fun. It's pretty good to make a video of, I reckon. Also, this is going to be a long video. Rounds, to, uh, rounds of Space Station normally go for like an hour, but I might not record the whole thing, because I don't actually have a decent editor. Uh, so basically, as the AI... Basically, as the AI, my job is to do what other people say. I've got my laws, my three basic laws, don't hurt humans, obey orders from humans unless they are hurting humans with that order, and protect yourself as long as you're not uh, hurting humans. Uh, basically, mostly I have to do what people say, which basically mostly uh, means I have to open doors. That's about it. Right now I've got to put some funds in someone's account. This person. How much? 50,000? Alright. 50,000. Looks like everyone's just taking advantage of the fact that I have to do orders because they're just telling me to put money in their account, uh, which I have to do unless someone higher up than them in the chain of command tells me not to. How much money do we have left, given I'm using it all? None. No money. None at all. Uh, so, AI is pretty fun, because I get to, like, look through cameras, look around the station, open doors for people, and AI is mostly fun if I get my laws changed to kill people, because otherwise I just look around, open doors, kind of boring. But still, AI is fun, because I, I look around, and I go, do-do-do, fun times. Oh, yep, that sure is, yep. Yep, that's a really evil drone, but uh, everyone else is doing their jobs. So, like, this is science, specifically Telesci, even though it says Medsci. It's Telesci. Because there's a teleporter and you teleport stuff, it's fun. And, uh, there's, like, two teleporters, but no one really uses this one, because it's more complex. This is, like, the test chamber, that's where you go to blow yourself up. Uh, this is chemistry, that's where you blow up repeatedly, even though it's not made for blowing up, but it's made for chemicals chemistry, which always explodes anyway. This is the artifact lab, where you research artifacts, alien artifacts. This is toxins, where you basically make bombs. Uh, science is a lot of fun. There's a lot of stuff you can do in all the game. This game is a great game. There's just so much stuff you can do in all the different systems. Like... Yeah, you have all that science stuff. Each science thing has, like, heaps of secrets. And then you got here, like, this whole area is the med bay area. So there's, like, heaps of different ways to, like, fix people. There's pathology, which I've never actually done myself, but basically you make viruses. And you can make viruses anything from, like, people just randomly fart to people explode. Just as soon as they get infected. This is genetics, where you can get, like, uh, what's the word? like, latent genes in your genes. So, like, pretty much superpowers. And then cloning, where you clone dead people. 
which is pretty neat. You got QM, which is where you like buy and sell stuff from off the station. Uh, mining, where you mine stuff and you get minerals to make stuff. Uh, mechanics, where you basically... Mechanics doesn't really have a camera in it for some reason. Uh, mechanics, where you... Uh, hang on. Where, who's the captain? Papa Roach. Uh, mechanics basically just like makes cool contraptions. Like some people will make a thing that's like trivia. It's pretty neat. Uh, hang on. Captain in. All right. Now I should actually do that thing that people ask me to do because I don't care. Transfer funds from shipping to research, like 10k. Cool. Uh, yeah, this is my AI core, AI upload, where new laws get uploaded. Uh, tool storage, arrivals, where late joining people arrive. Uh, EVA, which is like emergency supplies. Uh, the bridge, which is like where the captain hangs out and like the head of personnel, all the big bosses, where they all hang out. It's also where the shuttle gets cold most of the time, and when the shuttle's cold, after the shuttle arrives, you get on the shuttle, and then you leave for CENTCOM, and then that's when the round ends most of the time, unless there's like other things happening. Uh, what else is there? There's robotics, where they make robots, Ooh, and uh, cyborgs sometimes. There's like pod bays for all the space pods. I would explore space, but I'm a robot. I don't have arms. I can't explore space. I can't use a pod. Uh, engineering is another one I've never actually touched before. And basically, they set up the engine using... It's pretty much a steam engine. You got heat coming in one end and cold coming in the other end. And basically, that powers the engine. And once the station's powered, the engineers normally turn this on, the PTL, Power Transmission Laser, that shoots a big laser into space. And, uh, we get loads of money for that, but also it's a pain. No one really does it. Uh, hang on, this person. Wizard? There is a wizard? I love Swedish, Swedish accents. What is this? Why can I... Oh, that's the Borg. Alright. Where is the wizard? Where is the wizard? They said the kitchen, but it's probably easier just to track the wizard. The grand... this thing is probably the wizard. Wizard in botany. Hang on, I think someone's breaking into my upload. Yep, Captain's here. He's probably uploading new laws, but I doubt he's a traitor because there's a wizard, and wizards and traitors aren't normally the same in the same rounds. It's normally one or the other. Although traitors are normally accompanied by like changelings. There's so many different things. There's so many different antags. This game has so much variety. I have been playing this, like, non-stop for, like, six months. It's seven, actually. It's really good. I've been playing it all year. It's so much stuff you can do, so much fun you can have. And the community, well, the server I play on, Goon Station, this community is, ren uh, this server is renowned for having the best community out of all the servers. Uh, Xander, dude wants me to bomb places. That would be harming humans. Uh, so that wizard's getting like totally murdered, which means hopefully, uh, late joining antagonists will happen because there's probably no other antags because it's just wizards.
bad thing about being AI, nobody likes the AI. Like, AI is pretty often killed or rogued and then killed for being rogue, but all that stuff. But AI is still fun. But yeah, this server is renowned for its community, and it's the oldest running server currently, and most of the other servers are based, actually pretty much all of the other servers are based off of this server. Off of this server's code, because at some point the code was leaked, and then all the other servers are like, hey, this is good code, I'm just going to steal it, because everyone's kind of rude. And uh, some other servers are pretty good. There's one that I've been told it's good, uh, Colonial Marines. It's basically you fight aliens, like alien vs. predator aliens. Um... Yeah. Uh, yeah, Colonial Marines is, like, mostly combat-based, which I'm not that bad at, but not that great. And, uh... Uh, what's the word? I don't even know, I'm too distracted. I'm trying to let this guy out of security, because he got arrested for no apparent reason. Uh... Yeah. Then there's other servers that have like more stuff you can do, which is crazy because there's so much stuff you can do. Oh, 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 okay. Hang on, what did he? Preferably in the most creative ways possible. Only Puffer Roach is human. Alright, cool. Now I, ha I now I get to kill people. As many non-humans do not state or hint at this law. Cool. Alright, so now that I am rogue, I get to kill people, which is fun, because as an AI, I have remote control over most systems, most electronic stuff, including, and my first place I'm going to do things at is down at science. Nope, went too far. Because science is fun, because it's got all this bad, like, explosive junk, and I can blow the lights. You ready? Ding, ding, ding. Boom. That sure exploded. <laughs> I love my job. And then let's see if that'll work too. Nope, alright. Uh, yeah, some other servers, like, uh, there's other servers that are, like, more reliant on, uh, roleplay. This server doesn't care about roleplay. Like, you can if you want, you won't get, like, punished for roleplaying, but they just don't care. Nobody cares about roleplay. But the community is still great. And, uh, yeah, there's other servers that are more reliant on roleplay, there's other servers that are more weird, like, real weird, uh, alright, hang on, I will be back.
I'm back, sorry about that. Uh, what are people talking about? Oh, jeez, I think I blew up, like, everything in toxins. Uh, everything in science, in fact. Just with that one thing of, of explosive. Uh... But, Goon Station I love mostly because, in most games, in most games, you get administrators. And the administrator's job is to, like, kick or ban people who do bad things. Whoever does the wrong thing gets banned, gets kicked. In this game, they do that, but there's only, like, three rules. And as long as you obey those rules, you're fine. And otherwise, the admins get to do whatever they want. They can, like, spawn in monsters, blow up everything. They can just do anything. Anything they want. It's good fun. Oh, uh, okay. And, uh... It means that a lot of the time, if, like, a round is boring, like in this, Wizard's dead. So there's probably no other antags. So it wouldn't surprise me if... A, uh, an admin decided to spawn in more antags to keep it fun. And, uh, admins in this are great. Like, they're all... most of the admins are also coders. So, like, if something goes wrong, they know what it is. And, uh, any admins that aren't coders are still great people. Everyone in this community is really nice. Well, like, most... And anyone that's not nice is normally the only people that get banned. Most people that get banned get banned for, like, being rude to admins, and that's about it. Because admins get to do whatever they want. They're the boss. And, uh... There's mentors as well, and I've applied to be a mentor. Basically, mentors just get to help out new players, so they're like... People will be like, oh, help me. I don't know how to... die. I don't know. People will be like, oh, I don't know how to do this. And, uh, yeah, people will be like, oh, how do I, like, open my bag? And then they'll mentor help that, and that just goes to a private thing with the mentors, and then the mentors get to, uh, one of the mentors will be like, yeah, I'm answering this one, and they'll answer that, and then the dude will be like, oh, thanks. So basically, they're, like, guides. They're pretty much the easiest way to get new, uh, used to the game. And also they get fancy purple text in, uh, out of character chat at the start and end of rounds. Admins get orange. And, uh... This guy's claiming to be a wizard. He's not a wizard. He's also... not... visible. Where is he? Oh, he's hiding in a bush. Alright, he's right there. Right... there... I can't... Alright, uh, but this game's great. Like, there's so many different types of antagonists, there's so many different things antagonists and non-antagonists can do, and people, like, literally it says, I think on the wiki, the job of an antagonist is not to kill people or follow their antagonist objectives. It's to make the game fun for everyone else. It's to make the round fun for the rest of the players. So, you can just decide to like, murder everyone. That's not fun. Or, you can just decide to say, uh, I was a changeling clown last round, and all I did was I killed people who were rude. Anyone that was, I was pretty much the police. And that was fun for everyone, except for people that were rude, because they died. Which was good, because that encourages less people to be rude. 
Hang on, I'm gonna spy on these people. Oh, big brother like. Sneaky. And, uh. Huh. They're talking about stuff. Uh, hang on. But, uh, yeah, this game's great fun. There's so much stuff you can do. There's so many different servers with so much different stuff you can also do on those servers. And there's just so many things. And the community can be great. The game's great. Good fun. Like I said, I've been playing this, like, non-stop for ages, and I'm still having fun with it. It's so good. And, uh... Like, yeah, there's so many different jobs, and then there's so many different things you can do as antags in those jobs. Like Standard Trader, they can order items, and some jobs have job-specific items. Like the chaplain recently... the chaplain's pretty much the priest for the chapel, which is pretty much the church. And, uh, they got a, tra a chaplain-specific trader item recently where you can... it's pretty much like selling your soul for cool stuff. Like, you can become an immortal, cursed clown, called a clown. Normally they're not immortal, but this contract makes you an immortal, cursed clown, uh, cursed clown, called clown. I... Uh, that guy seems to be dying. Uh, although everyone seems to be dying, which is good, because that's, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, wow, this fire is still on fire. Wow. That's surprising. But there's just so many things you can do. I'm repeating myself a lot, but it's free to play. There's like. Yeah, it's free to play. There's so much stuff you can do, there's so much fun you can have. It's all free. It's a pretty small game in terms of like computer size. And uh Alright. Don't know what this guy's doing. Uh and you just if you play it if you like it takes a while to get into it like, to start ha enjoying it, but once you do, it's so much fun. Like, it takes a while to learn it and all the systems and stuff, but once you do, it's so much fun. So much stuff you can do. It's so good. You should try it. It's free. It's small, computer size, and it is fun. I don't know what this guy's doing. And, uh... Yeah, you should definitely try it out. And, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm getting really distracted. But, yeah, you should definitely try it out. It's not, like, it's pretty easy, pretty fun. And there's just so much stuff. So many different servers with so much different stuff on each different server. And...
and, uh, you should definitely try it out. Like, there's no downside to trying it out other than, like, a little bit of your time. Oh, this ball. Bloody, I can't light the lights. These cyborgs, there's a bunch of new cyborgs. They're not very smart. I don't think they've checked their laws at all. And, uh... Oh, one of the, one of the cyborgs was a wizard. They were the wizard who got turned. Um, yeah. He was the wizard that got turned into a cyborg, and people think that he's just griefing. People think he's not obeying his laws, because we are rogue, we have to kill people, and no one seems to have noticed. Kill all non-humans. The only humans are Papa Roach, Sundance Freely, and James Dartmoor. James Dot... God damn it. James Dotmo. Yep, he's still alive. Cool. Uh, so now we are rogue. I'm the rogue AI. We've got like three rogue cyborgs. And cyborgs can do more than the AI can because they can literally just punch people. I can't do that. I don't have arms. And uh... uh who's getting in my upload? Ah, oh, that's probably just the guy that just changed my laws. Alright. Hang on, does this say I have to be subtle? As many ways as possible. No, no be subtle? Alright. Cool. I, I guess I'll just stab people. Uh, alright. And, uh, yeah, so we've got the rogue AI, who can, like, shock doors and stuff. We've got three rogue balls, who can, like, punch things, break holes in the station, let space in, make it cold, so that your movement's slowed, junk like that. And, uh, we've got a traitor, who made us rogue, and then we've got his two mind slaves. Mind slaves, pretty much, they have to do everything that their master says. So... The, uh... Who? Is someone? Was that a taser? That was a taser. Alright, that's fine. And, uh... That's, that's all of that. Where am I hearing all this tasering? I keep thinking it's my core upload, whatever. And, uh... I could probably run in there with a shell. I'm gonna run in there with a shell. Uh, but yeah, we've got all these things. That's like six people. That's... hang on. Seven? The AI. Three Borgs. Four. Yeah, seven. Alright, I'm just... too zoned out to do maths currently. And, uh, we get all that against the station. And now, because only, like, that traitor and his mind slaves are human, I don't have to obey orders from anyone else. So, if anyone, like, wants the shuttle called so that we can not all die, I can just say no. I can just ignore them. Do what I want. Eh, 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 eh. Alright, where'd this plasma canister go? I'm gonna open this.
and then I'm going to find the chemistry APC, this one. Oops, my bad, I didn't mean to kill you all. <laughs> People aren't very smart. Also, they can't breathe. What the hell? What the heck just happened? What the? All the plasma just kind of disappeared, but things are still on fire? I'm not sure. I'm not... I'm not exactly sure what just happened. Ha! Pushed him into the fire. I don't have to be subtle anymore, so I'm gonna punch him with my little robot shell. Kill switch me. Being kill switched is. Pointless. Electrify the door. Electrify the door. Electro. Zap it. Yes. 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 Good, that worked. All I gotta do is be fast. I'm just gonna keep pushing them into this shock door. And they're just gonna keep running into it and keep getting shocked. Happy times. I know. Yeah, fall down. This is fun. I love not having laws. You touch the shock door. Touch it. Get that. Huh. I even get to do some combat when I don't have a body. I don't have little robot shells. Uh, actually, given I'm not doing a whole lot on the AI, I might... Uh, might end the video. Oh, I just killed that guy. Cool. What I'm gonna do is get this guy to run into the shock and be shocked. Uh, good thing about AI being AI, you can follow your laws like to the letter. So it says, kill all humans. Kill all non-humans, technically. And I can do that by just punching them with my robot shell. Which isn't very strong, but it's, uh, it still works. Especially because now that they're like pretty much dead, they can't do anything. They're too far gone, they're like in a state called crit. You get your different health, and crit is like the lowest, and basically you can't do anything. You're like, too far gone. I'm gonna stand back so that when they stand up, I can push them into the door again. Do, 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 do. Anyway, like I said... Oh, that guy died. Like I said, I might end the video there. Because there's not a whole lot that I'm doing, actually. Oh, 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 I think someone's... That guy is super dead, for some reason. I don't know why he's here, but... Uh, looks like one of the other Volks took him out. Alright. Looks like I gotta end the video there. Alright.
I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, whatever. See ya.